Oh god. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we've got another sound bar. If you guys checked out the last video, I looked at a budget, a very budget friendly sound bar and it sounded pretty good for the price range. Today, we got something a little bit bigger. Something to satisfy your more audio-tastic Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinematic adventure needs. <laughs> that was hard to get out. Today we have the Elector, Elector Top Bass Sound Bar. It's a 37.6 inch, 60 watt two channel speaker. This has the Max Bass chip on it. I'm not sure what that is. So apparently it's gonna give you incredible sound quality, a very, very super clear, even at full volume. That's what it says. This thing is wired and wireless. So you can hook it up through Bluetooth or you can hook it up through a 3.5 millimeter jack, RCA cables, or optical cable. It does have a remote control, which is always nice. Also, it states on their Amazon page that it comes with an 18-month limited warranty. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get into it. And thanks to the lovely courtesy by the United States Postal Service, they also included this. Look at that. <laughs> I hope it's not messed up. Let's find out. Okay, we got a box. Boxes are good. Oh man, I hope it's not broken. Doesn't seem to be. All right, let's get the box out of here. It's a huge box. Ah. Okay, so first off, oh, okay, cool. These are the braces that will hold it in place. Take this, set it down, put the sound bar on it, and then they won't roll, or it won't roll, so that's really nice. All right, what's in the box? I'm guessing power cable. Oh, cool, so they give you a nice fiber optic cable, and then uh, the remote. Pretty decent remote, very lightweight, nothing too fancy. So you got all your basic stuff, reset, power, mute, your volume, bass control, that's nice, and uh, and separate uh, treble control. Source, so you got Bluetooth, auxiliary one, two, and optical. And then of course you got your uh, preset equalizers, optimized for music, movie, and night. I guess maybe that just turns it down a lot for, for viewing pleasure in the evening. And we got a bag of stuff and the power cable, all right. Goodbye box. Okay, so we got a power brick, 18 volt. A little, it's a little beefy. Get out of here. Go away. Go away. Oh, cool. So it does come with wall brackets. So you got two of these. And this is for mounting on the wall if you want to. Yeah, yeah, the whole kit. So you got your drywall anchors, your screws. Very cool. I didn't, I didn't know it came with that. So there you go. It's ready to be wall mounted if you want it to be. Uh, user manual, whatever. About five and a half foot, 3.5 millimeter cable, and we have a, a 3.5 millimeter cable to auxiliary, and it is also about five and a half feet. All right. Um, now I got too much stuff over here. Let's take all this and. Throw it over there and throw that that way. All right, and now goodbye. Toodaloo. Adios. It's got some nice weight to it. It feels sturdy. Okay, wow. This thing is really nice. Nice fabric over the speakers. And you got the logo right here. So on the end, it looks like there's some speakers here. And on the other end, you have your controls. Looks like you got your power, your plus, minus, and then mute. I can't really tell if that's a speaker. I don't think it is. The more I look at it, the more I think it's just for design. It could be a, a vent of some sort, but it doesn't look like there's a speaker right there. Anyway, I believe the speakers are all in the bar itself. So you got your power here and your optical in here and then your two auxiliary ports on that side. So when you set it down, you can put it on probably either end. Really your preference, how you want it to look. Let's turn this baby on. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Power brick, it's got the green light. We should be good to go, let's turn it on. Is there no indicator? There's no power light? Oh, there's a light right there in the front. Bluetooth is on. When you change the source, it'll have an LED light that indicates which one it is. Green, I believe that's the auxiliary. White would be optical. And then of course, blue for Bluetooth. There we go. Oh my God, that sounds great. Dude. Okay, I know I'm sitting really close to it, but as soon as I hit movie mode, it felt like there were speakers speakers right here. That's freaking cool. Spartans! And it goes a little something like this. Like this. Wow. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. Well, let's go to the other room. Come on. All right, so I'm gonna do a before and after of the uh, of 
the mummy and then I'll also do it with some music. So let's hear what it sounds like. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we're probably gonna die here. That sounds so good in here. Okay, uh, one more time. Yep. I'm sold. Let's get back in the studio. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> I'm actually pleasantly surprised the sound that this is pushing out. You can definitely tell that it's got full range. I mean, when you hit that movie button, it's like all of a sudden speakers just boom, they're around you. These guys, they definitely focused on the sound. This would go well with any setup. I'm definitely gonna game with this. The controls are really functional. They work really well. I wish that there was some sort of like a visual indicator of the level at which you're on bass and your volume and your treble, because then it's just all, it's all sound, which isn't bad anyway, because that's what you're going for. But I like a visual cue. But overall, I gotta say, this thing is actually pretty good. Alright guys, that's it. I'm gonna leave links down below. Uh, but as for now, get out of here.